Hi everybody, welcome back to Skipper Sandra. I'm your skipper, Sandra. Thank you so much for coming back and visiting with me. It's been a long time. This COVID thing has really messed everything up. But not only has it messed things up, it's also gives us opportunities to do other stuff. So I don't know how many of you remember or know, but I had five, five children living with me. Uh, they, well, I had two of my, my daughters, then my stepdaughter, my nephew, and my son-in-law were all living here. So now four out of five have moseyed on out, uh, even amongst this whole COVID thing and the wildfires were in Oregon. For those of you who might be from out of state, we're in Oregon. And so we had the wildfires. Luckily we were fine. We were completely okay uh here in Cla i do live in clackamas but the smoke was really really bad but aside from all of that uh, uh, just days before my birthday actually the kids four out of five moved out four out of five four out of five and a dog moved out so uh we had at one point at the peak of existence we had seven people two dogs and a cat so now there are three people, a dog and a cat. We've had a, a pet, a pest, a pet pass away, our cat passed away, and now we have a kitten. So that's been an adventure. But anyway, one of the great things about the kids moving away, not, I love my children. I love them all. Um, but I have extra rooms. So I finally have my yarn room yarn crochet and fiber so i'm going to give you a tour of that room today it's not complete so don't think that this is completely complete as you can see you're already getting kind of a sneak -a -peek -a, um with my beautiful recliner you're gonna see more of that and my little teaser over here for the next video uh, and a lot of other stuff but it's really nice so now i have my crochet and my yarn room and my fiber room and if you don't know what i mean by fiber room i also spin so now i have my fiber and my spinning wheel i still need to get a spinning chair i may be getting a new spinning wheel because the wheel and i'll show you the wheel is a little warped and it's an ashford and i it's a beautiful wheel. I love it. It's just been around for a while. And I'll be honest with you, I haven't been as kind to it as I should have. I, but when I already got it, it was already worked. So, but you know what? You make do with what you can and beautiful things have been done with uh, worse things. So I am not going to complain about my tools. I will do the best that I can for what I have now and then, you know, change over, but it's a beautiful piece of furniture. I love it. Um, so the yarn room. Now I actually have a craft office and a yarn room. So when it comes to everything that I do, because believe it or not, we're going, I know I've been teasing about this, but we're going to have product. I, and what I mean by product is we're going to have stuff we're going to be putting together. And some of that stuff isn't all it's yarn related but not necessarily, or crochet related, but not necessarily crochet itself. Things to help with the crochet. So we're going to be, I'll be taking everything to that room where I have a completely different setup uh, for that as well. So, and that's where I manage all the editing and all of that stuff for this, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's very exciting because now I have the best of both worlds. Uh, I can leave that to that, you know, the office and then come and sit and crochet and I love it because I really have my space and if you're curious as to what happened to the other room the other room has turned into well is it's in the process it's going to be my library slash guest room so I'm very excited about that as well but this one had to be first I had to have my yarn room first so without further ado let's go and check out my yarn. Remember, it's not complete, okay? There's stuff missing, but we'll get there. All right, I'll meet you over there. Okay, so here we go. This is the front entrance to the new yarn room, and here we have 
who we affectionately call Elizabeth. And uh, we don't ask me why. We named her Elizabeth. And for Halloween, we'll put a head on her in a wig and put her in a bridal gown with a veil. And yeah, so reminiscent of the, ha the Haunted Mansion, the attic scene, if you've ever been there at Disneyland. But this is Elizabeth, and she's actually wearing a dress that I made. Uh, this dress, I did not crochet. This is a rescue tablecloth that I created into a dress. I found it on Pinterest. Like always, Pinterest is a wealth of information. And these gloves, and so the tablecloth I actually rescued at a thrift store along with these gloves. They are leather and crochet trim. Very, very dainty gloves. I love them, so I rescued them as well. And then over here, this little purse was actually made for me by my grandmother. It's about 41 years old. And it, it was part of a set. So I had a pantsuit. So it was a jacket and a pair of pants in that same green. Uh, it was a little brighter back then, but uh, I've had this all these years. I get motion sickness, and I remember being very young and getting sick in the car wearing it because it was very itchy, so it did not uh, suit me. <laughs> Imagine that. So here, oh, and there's my Toby down there. Say hi, Toby. Toby. Hi. Say hi, everybody, booba. Okay, that's my little guy. And... This is the closet. So this is another rescue piece. So I love to do this. I love to rescue pieces and then um, incorporate them into my household. This, I don't know if it was a tablecloth or a uh, bedspread, what this was supposed to be. But whatever it was, I thought it was gorgeous. A friend of mine, this was her grandmother's. She moved from her house into a smaller uh, smaller home and so did not have room for all of this and knows that I, I rescue crochets, so she offered it to me and I jumped at the chance. And if you can see, I'll get up here closer. You can see the little threads. This wasn't actually completed. So it still needs to be completed. And no, I don't have any intentions of completing it. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. It's just a good reminder of all the love and work that goes into these projects for different people when we make them. And so yeah, I just think it's perfect the way it is. And I'm going to leave it that way. But this is my closet. And so that you guys can see what I used is a um, shower curtain rod and the shower curtain rings to hang it from and that's how I've, I've hung it i gave you kind of a little glimpse that yes i have more yarn in here and that bag so if you guys remember this is from another video of mine that's the bag from uh joann's they were out for a while and then i got they came in again so i will put a link and i will put a link to a lot of the stuff that you're going to see today down here are some of my hooks. These are my longer hooks with shells and uh, beech wood because I collect all of that. And this is my wall of yarn. Well, most of it. So these are all QBs that I got off of Wish. However, I will tell you, you can get them off of Amazon. What's the price differential? Don't know. Uh, that is something that needs to be researched and I think I will because I think I need more cubies and what I did I'm going to zoom in here is I labeled them and what I did was I got these pockets self-adhesive plastic pockets uh, from one of the office stores and they're for business cards and then I just made these little labels on the computer using I think it was a uh, uh, publisher I, I just made them you know, the size of a business card. And so now I can just switch them out as I need to. And I have labeled all of them and they're all full of something. And up on top, this is another rescue from that same beautiful lady. This is, it's still in the works very much. So, I mean, it's pinned to this backing and I do have intentions on cleaning this one up and, and uh, finishing it because it is just stunning. And I tried to fold it in the best way I could so that I could display as much of it as I can. I mean, the detail work in this is beautiful. And I loved it. And so I will definitely be trying to finish this one. This is another rescue. This came in a bag of yarn from another friend of mine, actually my neighbor. And I just thought he was so sweet. I just had to keep him. I'm not going to get rid of him. He's a soap saver. 
And here are more sets of crochet hooks. And this is a lighted one. This is, uh, and I know you guys have seen these in other videos, and this is one that has hand-turned handles and you can interchange the heads. That is the driftwood one. And this is like a whole crochet um, with accoutrement set that was given to me by a friend of mine um, after my, uh, his wife had passed away, who was also a friend of mine just this year. So that's in memory of Deanna. And I love you, Deanna. And so here is, I'm sure you guys recognize this mug from one of my, uh, this was one of the, what do you call it? Uh, the yarn crawls. I know I got that there. So some bowls, this little crochet guy, I made him, I can't even tell you how many years ago I made him and he just comes out every fall. So more of the stuff. That's another rescue. As a matter of fact, up there is another rescue. That's from another lady. That was her grandmother had made blankets for everybody in the family and she didn't even know how to crochet and she made these blankets and they loved them but again same type of situation got retired and moved to a smaller uh home and didn't have room for it and knew that i rescue so she gave it to me and up there is from one of my charities the very very first blanket we ever made so that was that so I'm going to come around here. This is my lilac tree and I absolutely adore this tree. My husband was an absolute sweetheart. He had fallen over and the roots were exposed and he braced it and loved on it. And I still have it. And I love that tree and I adore it. Same when I right at the window of my office downstairs. And this is that recliner that I keep telling you about. I love this recliner. It adjusts in every which way. So it has lumbar support, the head support. The I can put the feet up and not the not the back. I mean, it's fabulous. I love this recliner. It's from Lazy Boy. My husband got it for me because of my back issues and whatnot. So this is um, an absolute godsend. I love this thing. And here's part of my crochet setup that I've always wanted to do and I absolutely love. Now this is right here a music stand. Um, I am in search of a music stand that has a solid back so that when I want to write notes my pen won't go through, you know, the paper won't go through. It has something sturdy it, and it's sturdier. This is a pretty um, inexpensive one that I'd gotten eons ago. Again, I can't remember what we were doing and I had gotten a music stand. It was just very inexpensive. We just needed it for the moment, but it has stuck around and it works. But I love it because it's a great place to put your pattern while you're working on it and sit in your recliner and work. Now here's another nifty difty thing here. This is a, actually, this blue thing is a collapsible cooler. This here is a sneak peek to the next video, a project that I just finished. And we're going to be talking about that and the pattern and all kinds of fun stuff. And it's from the UK. So if you're interested in patterns from the UK, we're going to be talking about that. But this right here is a um, collapsible cooler. As you can see here, it's fully lined. And I love it because this zipper, you would think that this zipper gets caught on stuff and it doesn't. I, I crochet yarn out of here all the time, all kinds of yarn, and nothing gets caught. It's, it's lightweight so I can move it around. What I've done is I actually clipped one of these holsters back here. So if I have a little accoutrement that I need to just have a quick pocket for, I have it right here. But as you can see, if I flip this over, Here's the lid. This is where you would open to get whatever, you know, drinks you want to get out of it. There's the cup holders. Uh, there's the actual bag. But this has been, this has turned out to be fabulous because it's up high, as you can see. Uh, here's the arm and then here's the, the container itself. It's up high. Most of the time when we have yarn baskets, they're really down low. And if your yarn is knotting or if there's some issue, you have to bend over. And if in this recliner is pretty significant. So that turns into a challenge. And this makes it so easy. It's right there. I have all of my yarn in one place and this has been fabulous. And I have extra blankets because, well, I get cold and my dog will not get on my uh, footstool if I don't have a blanket for him. That's our original crochet blanket. So whenever I would crochet, I would put that down for my little fuzz. And here's the other side of the recliner. This is my table. I have all kinds of great stuff on here. Again, another hint as far as what we're going to be um, 
talking about my notebook with pen. I've got pens, pencils, uh, all the little stuff that I use. I'll tell you what, if you don't have one of these, this is a fabulous little tool. This is for your phone. So if you have a pop socket, you pop the pop socket and you put it in here and your phone rests right here and it, you can see it. I love it. It works fabulous. This is actually raising it and I wanted to raise it for plug purposes, but all I did was uh, tape it to the box and, and there you go. Um, it raised it, but you can get these off of Etsy and he can work on different heights for you. So he was fabulous. I loved him. He did a great job for me. I really, really appreciated being able to have this and I have them all over the place. I have them on my desk. I have them everywhere because they, they are handy. And then of course, well, the rest of my crochet hooks and needles. And you guys saw this from one of the yarn crawls. This, I can't tell you how fabulous this is. It's magnetic. It keeps all my needles in there. Nothing gets lost. All my beautiful hooks. Love having my hooks handy. There are some that are vintage that I will be um, framing and hanging. And of course, here's my iPad. And the reason I have that here is not necessarily for patterns, or although I do have them on a, um, I'm moving them slowly over to a cloud base. So that way when I am up here and I want to do a pattern, I don't have to go to my computer. Um, I have it here, but I can have it print. So that way I can go ahead and grab that. So that's, that's something that I'm really excited about. That's a new, um, addition. Usually what I do is I watch, uh, I binge watch things. I binge watched, if you are interested in true crime, which I am, uh, I watch Bailey Syrian. She does Murder Makeup Mondays and it's fabulous. She is a lot of fun. Great show to watch. Another one is Tony Robbins and it is uh, Dirty Historical Jobs and he is great too. All of the stuff that I'm talking about, I will list down below so that you have um, the links and, and whatnot. But it really is a fabulous show if you like to know about history. You know how we have Mike Rowe who does uh, Dirty jobs i love that show too <laughs> but he does it tony robbins does it from a um historical point of view they're all you know throughout history and and i love history so this is a lot of fun i really enjoy that and then we're gonna so you can see there there's my spinning wheel that's an ashford i've had her for many many years she's a little dry i need to be a little nicer to her and uh, see if i can start spinning again i need to get a spinning chair I don't have one. There's my Swift. And here's the rest of my yarn and fiber. So yes, I do um, also knits. I mean, I also, well, yeah, I, I do some knitting as well, but I also spin. And so there's fiber in there for me to spin. And as you can see, a lot of open space on these walls. So I will have more artwork and things to be putting on these walls. I think I'll be getting some more cubies because I do have more yarn that I need to put up there. Oh, and what I forgot to mention is that in this closet, I will be putting shelving in, but in this bin down here, this black one, those are all printed patterns. So when I work on a pattern and uh, it's online, I always print it because that way my battery, I don't have to worry about batteries dying out or anything like that, but I don't get rid of the pattern either. I go ahead and save that pattern in there, but I um, I have it scanned into the computer too. So I have notes. I always, I have um, a little marker letting me know if it's been scanned or not. If it has been scanned, I know I don't have to print it. I can just go look in my file. So I'm conserving paper that way. And you know, my bin under there. I'm thinking of changing this up and getting a rolling cart that has a couple of different levels will be more useful to me uh, doing it that way. And of course my lovely lamp that I love so much. And it reminds me of the Pixar lamp. So I have to, I forgot what the name of that lamp, that lamp actually has a name and I forgot what the name is, but I'm going to remember what that name is. Uh, look it up and I'm going to put it on the lamp because I just think it's funny. And here's some more patterns, magazines and things that I still have to go through or things that I want to do that I pulled out. So this is the yarn room, the yarn crochet fiber arts room and I'm loving it. It's working out great. 
it's a lot of fun and I'm going to put all of those different elements down below that I've mentioned because that way you can go look it up yourself. Um, I am going to put shelving in that closet. I do have more books, actual crochet books that need to come up here as well. So I will probably have to have some sort of bookshelf up here. <laughs> This room is getting very full very quickly, and I thought I was going to have more time, so I guess not, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm really loving my room. What do you guys think? I am so excited. Let me know what you think in the comments, and uh, and if I miss anything, let me know also, you know, let me know, hey, I saw this, where did you get it? And I will try to put that in the um, comments as well. Or and down in the description as well, or I'll send you an email or whatnot. Okay. Um, this is great. I just I love it. It really is working out great for me. Uh it's making crochet time a much more peaceful, wonderful place to be, as far as I'm concerned. It really is. What do you think? So this is the other wall. So this is the other wall. So as you can see, I have my super comfy, oh my gosh. Let me tell you guys, this recliner does it all. The headrest moves, the lumbar support moves. I can lift the feet, but not move the back. I can move the back, but not move the feet. I can move both of them. I mean, it's, and it uh, virtually almost completely lays flat. So I can take a nap here and let me tell you what I have. My big lamp that my very, very dear friend Ems gave me from her mama's house, and that's great. And so my tablet, so I like to watch all kinds of things when I'm crocheting, aside from just crocheting. So I love historical items, and I'm my oldest daughter and I have this weird quirk. We like to uh, read and listen, watch shows on serial killers. So uh, if you guys don't know about... Uh, Phew! Okay, so what'd you think? Pretty amazing, huh? Well, for me, I am just oh, excited because it really gives me room to check out, you know, what I, I, I'm doing, if I'm crocheting, if I'm designing. As you saw earlier, I have, you know, my notebook next to me so that I can do that. I have my, my stuff, you know, so that I can do what I want to do and still have, uh, not have to move it around. So it's been really nice because now hubby really does have his man cave back. <laughs> so I don't have to record down there. Uh, I don't have to crochet down there and not all of my yarns there. I have to tell you. So what part of our adventure was if I was working on a project or I wanted to work on a project, I'd be like going through my patterns, right? It's like, okay, I'm going to look at that. And oh my gosh, I've got to do this one. And now I need to go find my yarn. Well, guess where all my yarn was? It was down there. So if he had the lights out because he was watching a movie, I had to go and disturb him and turn the lights on. Or if, because my nephew was staying in the uh, man cave, I couldn't go in and disturb him when he was sleeping. Poor kid, he was working and he is working and they all are working their little butts off. Uh, but it's just pretty remarkable you know you adjust everybody adjusts but i've gotten to this point and i have to tell you i am just enjoying it so much i love looking out my window and seeing the lavender tree which really funny if you stand up like when we were going through the tour you see the tree but when i'm sitting i'm looking up at it and looking at the sky and at the top of the it's nice the only problem is is as you saw where my chair is the tree is this way so I don't get a whole lot of it. It's not like I'm facing the tree and it, it's behind me. So that's kind of a bummer, you know, that's okay. I can live with it. It's, it's still nature. I'm not looking at a wall and I like that. Uh, on the other side is where the spinning wheel is uh, over here where my hand's going. Uh, so that we'll see what happens with all of that. And I will have to get more cubies. I will list where I got the cubes, but I'm going to give you a heads up on that. Those cubes I ordered off of Wish. Okay. It was fine. It, they got here in plenty of time when I ordered them and all of that. But uh, when I reconfigured from 
when they were downstairs in the man cave, they were just one big wall. When I reconfigured them up here, it changed that and uh, I didn't have enough connectors. So I had to go on to Amazon. I have to tell you, so I tell my, my daughter, right? My youngest who's still here and I'm like, oh my gosh, cat, like I don't have enough connectors and I have extra panels. I need more, as you saw that tall tower, I need more connectors because I, I need more cubes. I don't have enough cubes. And she's like, well, go on to Amazon. They'll have it. I'm like, no, they won't. I got this off of Wish. They're not going to have it. Yeah, they will, Mom. They have everything. I don't know why I argued with her. They did. And not only did they have the cubes, they almost have the cubes, I mean. So it's all a matter of price and how long you're willing to wait and that kind of thing. So they might be worth it for you. I will not list the cubes themselves on Wish because those, those people, those businesses, they fluctuate in and out. So that's not, they won't necessarily be there, but uh, you can order them off of there. Finding the connectors, I couldn't find the connectors in quantities that was enough uh, for these. I will warn you, they do snap rather easily. This is like Tinker Toys, okay? They're panels and they're plastic and they're flexible and they're great, okay? For me, I, I the flexibility it offers me to be able to create whatever I wanted to create, is fabulous, but they're not really to be taken apart and put back together often. I also didn't know exactly what I wanted. So this was an inexpensive way of figuring out what I do or don't want. I'm really liking this. I'm liking the idea that I can change off the signs as I use the yarn. That big black bag is because I don't have enough room in one in, the one in particular is the acrylic worsted weight. I don't have enough cubes. I think I've used them all. Yeah, I've used them all. So I need more cubes. Yeah, I definitely need more cubes. I was going to say something else and now I'm not going to go there. I need more cubes. So that's that. I hope you like that. If you have any questions about anything that you saw, leave them in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to, to answer you. You know, there's so much more that I need to do. I need to get a filing cabinet to put all of those printed patterns in. Um, I, I, there's more accoutrements, so like stitch markers. Remember we talked about projects uh, that I need to have sorted out here, you know, to for that blocking. Although now, because of the change of rooms and whatnot, my laundry room actually is more clean. I don't have as much stuff, so I have room for blocking and leaving it to block. So it's made a big difference as far as where everything is, but I'm still getting used to and readjusting everything. So we'll see it. All right. So there's all those things. So I'll leave the cubes. I'll leave. And somebody had asked, I'd left the link and I, and then it was gone. And then I found it again for that travel bag that I have the rolling travel bag. You saw it in the closet, um, on the right hand side, on top of a pile of more yarn. Those are projects. Okay. Those are dedicated yarns because those are projects. Um, but yeah, I will list that as well. Uh, my thought for this table over here, actually, I'm thinking of getting like a rolling multi-level. I think it's going to be uh, more efficient for me because I need to move it and get a hold of other stuff so that I can keep more tools and things available to me because, well, I'm kind of lazy. If you hadn't noticed, I love, I love this chair. This is so comfy. Uh, and the last thing I'm going to leave you with today, because this is... Uh, this has been an adventure. So this project over here that I kind of alluded to when we were looking at the cooler, this, this has been interesting. So if you have ever been curious about patterns from other countries, this one in particular is from the UK. Uh, if you're quite curious about patterns from other countries and translations and uh, just a review of a magazine that I've seen pop up here in the United States in a couple of different places that uh, I will be doing that in my next video. So if you like this video and you enjoyed our little trip together, down in the, in the description will be a link to my social media. So I would love to see you guys there. You know, leave me comments, let me know. I love to hear from you. So if you enjoyed this, you know, 
hit subscribe, the like, and the little bell to be notified. Oh, I think they took the bell away. I think they took the bell away. But anyway, um, I post every Wednesday and uh, I'd love to see you again. Missed you guys. I hope everybody's doing well. You take care of yourself. Stay safe out there and keep on stitching. Talk to you soon. This is Skipper Sandra signing off.